What's up everybody, your favorite black boy here for Be Black. I'm about to drown you in a pool of entertainment. And if you don't have your swimming suit on, better get it because we're going to dive in so, so deep. Tons and tons of stuff have been happening as far as our entertainment industry is concerned in Africa and in the world at large. And I'm here to dissect all of that for you. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it's no longer news that Kanye West has been all over the news, trending on Google, trending on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, pretty much everywhere. If you haven't heard of the Donda album by Kanye West yet, then hmm, you are probably sleeping on a bicycle. And you know how to say? <laughs> if you are sleeping on a bicycle, you are definitely going to crash. Talking about the Donda album, we already know that the Donda album was set to be released on the 24th of July. Yes, Donda is the name of Kanye's late mom, and this album is his 10th studio album purely dedicated to his mom yeah so many people so much anticipation people have been all over the internet talking about this album because the date that was set for the album to be released this album wasn't released however kanye organized several several listening parties the first was at the mercedes stadium of course and we already know the mercedes Benz stadium as big as it is kanye sold out entirely sold out and people were going home and hoping that okay when we wake up we're going to wake up to the third album lo and behold no album was released yes and before we knew it Kanye organized the second and onto the very third listening party i needed to note that all of these listening parties were sold out events big big events and stuff but one of the things that caught our attention is the fact that during these events of course and listening parties Kanye was busy busy swelling his bank account and not only that, keeping the internet talking. How is it possible that the internet knows that Kanye and Kim are no longer together? But there was Kim at one of his listening parties in a wedding gown, showed up like nothing. Kanye walked through fire in one of his listening parties. Kanye ascended into heaven in one of his listening parties. I mean, how does one human being get so much attention? Well, recently, the most anticipated album of the world, yes, of course, that was really the most anticipated album was released. 29th of August, the album was put out, but you know why it is. Kanye went to say that Universal put out the album without his permission. And not only that, he also said Universal put out the album without jail part two. And I'm like, well, I saw jail part two in that album. I don't know what it's talking about. We already know that this album is produced by Dev Jam Records. And in my mind, I'm like, what has Universal got to do with it? Well, that story for another time. Most important thing, Kanye so far, as of now, and the stats that's happening, Kanye is pretty much stopping in several, several countries. And of course, it's one of the second albums to have almost over a hundred streams. One of the second albums to have almost a hundred streams on Spotify. Of course, the most of his kind. I mean, people are calling Kanye in the music industry a god. What do you think? Is this not god status? One of the things that we can, however, not assess the fact that the Seth Thunder album was going to be his second gospel album. I don't know what it is to you. This is a mixture of everything. So many people are saying on the internet that when they listen to Kanye's album, they don't know if they should twerk or they should praise. How do you feel when you get the Thunder album? Have you had access to it yet? Well, it's available on us, all streaming platforms and of course, especially Spotify. Go knock yourself out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive a little bit into Africa. Yes, we already know one of the people that are making strides and making moves and all of the amazing stuff that there is as far as the entertainment industry is concerned is Wizkid. Yes, Big Wiz as he is now recently known. Yeah, we already, it's no longer news that, pff, have you heard Essence though? Hmm, yeah, yeah. Essence is one of the biggest hits by Wizkid this year. It's been breaking, breaking, breaking all kind of boundaries and stuff, topping charts left and right. One of the things that caught our attention for the past months was the fact that Wizkid brought Justin Bieber to the remix of the song that he initially did with Thames. And yes, we already know that before Justin Bieber got on this song, several, several artists and celebrities both in Hollywood and Hollywood were vibing to this song and of course posting it on their social media platform. Big, big deal, big deal, I mean, for Africa and how it's beginning to make its strides into the international platform. Yes, when Justin Bieber came on this particular song, Essence with Wizkid, it pushed the song to top 10 of R&B and of course hip hop charts on the billboard. Oh, I mean, I don't understand it, but the name Big Wiz, just, just super fitting. Amazing stuff. I know how the internet and so many people criticize that 
not every song has to be touched. Many people didn't find the fact that Justin Bieber getting on the song was very, really important to make any changes to the song because the song was just good as it is. Of course, the original song. But I don't know what it is, but I'm thinking that Wizkid, in the other hand, was looking for a bigger stage. Of course, because Justin Bieber has the numbers, a bigger crowd. And of course, collaborations are always good to extend your tentacles. You don't know that? Yeah, that's how showbiz works. That's the business. And whether you like the song or not, the song is making strikes and it's top 10 of the billboard. And talking about Whiskey, did you know that Whiskey actually recently saw O2 Arena in the UK? Yes, that is not even any news anymore because he's always selling out. What was different about this one was the fact that Whiskey sold O2 Arena in 12 minutes. Yes, people in the UK were pissed. Like, wait, what? I mean, immediately it was announced, he sold out in 12 minutes. Talking about people who sold out, we also recently saw Better Boys concert that was crazy. Sold out, sold out, sold out to them. Of course, that's the African giant. So there are some things that are totally totally very okay for him to do right breaking boundaries and making all of these moves just in the space of how many years it's just amazing to see all of these moves that is happening yes and talking about banner boy banner boy has also been making strike with his continuous endorsement with pepsi we knew that he was endorsed he recently worked on an official song with pepsi which has on it people like Messi and pogba and stuff amazing amazing move as far as our entertainment industry is concerned i think that you are going to be thinking that i'm done with all of the people that sold out no one of the people that sold out his concerts also during this period of time was Kosi. yes you already know the crew now for palapala cameroon's Kosi. Kosi even recently put out a post on social media saying that his concert was sold out but of course there were still tickets available at the gate and people are like wait what what your concert is sold out so what tickets available at the gate i mean the internet was also curious when whiskey said that he sold out he was talking about o2 arena he basically mentioned it but people were like yo why did you sell out i don't understand what is wrong with cameroonians but it's just crazy the critics that are always coming with it when our artists are actually trying to celebrate some victory we don't expect him to sell out a stadium like it is for the other artists who are hitting hitting international space we do expect him but not now he's growing and really fast and he's going to definitely get there but cameroonians can you just take a chill pill eh? can you take a chill pill Congratulations to Kosi, however, for pulling through with this concert. Probably one of his first international concerts as far as the year 2021 is concerned. Making the strides, we love to see it. Yeah, we love to see those kind of moves. <laughs> And still talking about heat that happened in the entertainment industry, Alex Ikubu, Nigerian superstar, Nollywood actor, recently broke up with his girlfriend. Should I say break up? Is that really the word? His girlfriend just came online to put out information that you know what? The engagement that you saw on our platforms, I'm going to discontinue it. I can't continue and I'm calling off my wedding with Alex. Everybody has to live in his truth. That's what she said in her statement. And of course, you already know how Nigerian bloggers are. Everybody started stipulating their stuff and people were saying stuff. It's just very funny that the Cameroonians were stipulating something else and the Nigerians were stipulating something else. It's crazy, man. People are always stipulating stuff. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what the truth is. But one thing that is for sure is that these two, even though they put out all of their love life on social media, they are no longer together, unfortunately. We hope them the best in their various endeavors and we hope that you can find love again. Yeah, and talking about artists that are making moves in the industry, we already know our own King Kong, Stanley Anna. <laughs> yeah, the boy has been making moves, of course. He recently announced that he's also looking forward to an Oscar and everyone was like, wait, what? You're looking forward to what, boy? Oscar? I mean, you have not had a Grammy yet, you're looking forward to Oscar, but yeah, well, he was making that statement because he has recently been included in a movie role in Nollywood. The flyer was recently put out on social media and Cameroonian bloggers are talking about it. I already know how it is. Many people are also coming to criticize and be like, yo, dude, it's movies that you want to try now. <laughs> What's wrong with Cameroon, man? What's wrong with you people? Congratulations to Stanley Edna for making this stride. He's not only working on movies, but he, was, he also recently announced that he's working on his EP and that has been happening in Amsterdam. Yeah, he flew back into the country, however, but yeah, talking about people who put out their music this week, we already know that Daphne has been gone for a long time. She finally, finally landed with a new song. 
titled La Ba. And yes, Loco and Mimi, the visuals of their song Fire was finally put out and yes, it's a whole, whole new vibe. Oi, let's talk about Danny Green for a minute. Yes, Danny Green, 237 Town Crier. Has he been making the country proud or making the country sad? Oh, of course, you know how people are haters and of course the lovers. People are excited that Danny Green is finally breaking boundaries and trying to collaborate with people that matter. Yes, and those who didn't really care about him are beginning to talk about him now and trying to be like, you know, you're in our space. And then there are the people who can't help but just hate. <laughs> Like, yo, why are you saying that this is the best thing that happened to Cameroon this year? I mean, I think that that was a little bit of a stepping, but of course, he said it anyway. What do you think happened in our entertainment industry? I've been saying that our entertainment industry this year has been pretty dormant. And if he said what he said, it's because that's what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if this that's the best thing that happened to Cameroon. Him being on the skit with an international legend like Don Jazzy. It's important for you to note that these collaborations are one of the things that we've always been talking about and Danny Green making this move and getting on a collaboration should be really, really celebrated by Cameroonians. We're saying congratulations to him. He made this move and of course, Don Jazzy has been talking about it. This also gives recognition and this is a time for our comedians to actually use their platform to create or impact change. Yeah, I don't want to sound like everybody else because it seems like because our comedy industry is beginning to break through. Everybody's becoming a motivational speaker and trying to tell the comedians how to do their thing. Come on, man. Come on. But congratulations to Danny Green. We're so proud of you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And of course, <laughs> you know how it is. How can I talk about this without talking about the selfless Don Jazzy? It's important to know that this is a producer. This is an artist. And of course, this is a record label owner. One of the biggest record labels in Africa. Yet, he finds the time to put in and promote all of these young talents from different African countries. Thanks to Don Jazzy for exposing all of these young talents and stuff. It's crazy. This is an attitude that many people should emulate. And that's all we had for you guys this week. Yes, yeah, stunts and tons of entertainment like we promised. Did you drown? <laughs> if you did, that's because you didn't get your swimming soap, like I said at the beginning. However, if you love our show and you love what we're giving you every week, remember, follow us on our several social media platforms and you know it is. We're always here to give you what's hot, and what's not, it's your favorite, your ever smiling black boy for Be Black, Karawa. <laughs>